So the next thing to talk about distribution. What do we do with this? Well, according to PEMDAS, we would have to add the X and the two, but because we don't know what X is, we can't add it to two yet, so we're stuck. This appears to be the only thing we can do. But there is something else, and to do that, we need a trick. Just like with multiplication, order doesn't matter for addition. So three plus two plus one, that gives you six, but so does one plus two plus three, or three plus one plus two, and so on. The order doesn't matter. Also, grouping doesn't matter. In other words, placement of parentheses, if, if all we're doing is adding, that doesn't matter either. So if we do one plus two first, then add three, okay, we get six. But if we did one after adding two plus three, we're still going to get six. In fact, if you didn't have any of these parentheses, you still get six. So we can remove parentheses, move them around if we want, as long as we're just adding. What if we could we do with this? We could turn this into adding, and here's how. Remember the definition of multiplication, it's repeated addition. So three invisible times, x plus two is x plus two plus x plus two plus x plus two. Read those x plus twos. Now they still have parentheses saying that, hey, you gotta know what x is before we'll let you add two. But this is what we discovered earlier. As long as we're just adding, it doesn't matter what we do with the parentheses or even if we have them. It's the same thing. And with addition, the order doesn't matter. We can move these around. We could go with the X's first, and then the twos. And now let's use that definition of multiplication again. To add three X's together, that's the same as three times X. Add three twos together, it's the same as three times two. And now what we're going to do is what's called distribution. We skip all these middle steps. And we just cut to this. In other words, we'll do this. We distribute the three. We're going to attach it to everything on the inside of those parentheses with multiplication. Get three times x plus three times two. Or to simplify a little further, get that. So this is distribution. We skip all those middle steps and we just get our answer. It's a shortcut. Now, what if this was a subtraction sign? Like I said earlier, this only works because we're adding. Well, hold on.
if we have a subtraction, we can rewrite this as adding a negative. Recall from negative numbers that subtracting is the same as adding a negative, or adding a negative is the same as subtracting. And since now that we're adding, we can distribute. And I'm going to simplify this a little further. Adding a negative is the same as subtracting. Say adding this negative is the same as subtracting. Well, we'll call this minus six. I'll take it a step further. Remember, three X is three times X. Six is three times two. And it turns out if we cut out all the middle steps, we can distribute even with a minus sign. It was that trick that let us do it. So for distribution with subtracting, we can do this. And that's how we can distribute. And that's all distribution is. Now we'll, we'll consider some special cases in the next video. Any questions, let me know.